love for all, hatred for none. अहमदिया मुस्लिम समुदाय कोलकाता शांति संगोष्ठी का आयोजन स्थानीय शांति की स्थापना के मूल सिद्धांत के साथ सभी के लिए प्यार नफरत किसी के लिए नहीं कि अपने आदर्श वाक्य के साथ किया अहमदिया मुस्लिम समुदाय कोलकाता ने 3 दिसंबर 2022 को द पार्क में स्थानीय शांति स्थापित करने के मूलभूत सिद्धांत विषय पर शांति संगोष्ठी का आयोजन किया इस कार्यक्रम में विभिन्न क्षेत्रों के कई प्रतिनिधियों धार्मिक नेताओं और बुद्धिजीवियों ने भाग लिया जो सर्वभौमिक भाईचारा और शांति के विचार को व्यक्त करने और समर्थन करने के लिए एक छत के नीचे आए दुनिया आज बहुत अशांत के दौर से गुजर रही है विश्व शांति स्थापित करने के लिए दृढ़ उद्देश्य के साथ एक विश्व समुदाय के विशुद्ध रूप से धार्मिक संगठन होने के नाते संगठन दुनिया को शांति स्थापित करने की दिशा में मार्गदर्शन करना अपना पहला और सबसे महत्वपूर्ण कर्तव्य मानता है The season of light, the season of darkness. Just a few words, a few lines from Charles Dickens, The Tale of Two Cities, the very beginning. Dickens was not used to writing short sentences, he wrote long, winding sentences. But these words and lines that I just quoted carry a different significance because Tale of Two Cities, the Tale of Two Cities had the French Revolution as its backdrop, which is still celebrated. I'm sure the French consulate here in Calcutta on the 14th of July invites like-minded people to celebrate it with them. When the fall, the Bastille fell, they celebrated. There were all kinds of people from all across the Europe of the time, brilliant talents, cutting across every form of talent one could think of. They were all there to see justice prevailing over injustice, the success of the French Revolution. And when the Bastille fell, there was such celebration. Oh my God, such celebration. And after the celebration, the paradox came the reign of terror. The first speaker, Her Excellency, spoke of a moment of consequence and peril, of profound pain and extraordinary possibility. Perhaps now more than ever, we, can, we have seen how the most urgent challenges of our time do not confine themselves within national borders. A global pandemic that has claimed more than six million lives. A climate crisis that threatens the future of every continent. An emboldening of autocrats who believe that democracy and multilateralism cannot deliver in the 21st century. These tests and more are among the sternest that the world has ever faced. We know that beneath the global crises we face lie breathtaking opportunities for our nation and the world if we can summon the will to seize them, end quote. By participating in celebrations of peace such as this one, we forge and strengthen bonds that make it easier to collaborate on the pressing issues of our time. Our engagement with faith communities is a vital part of our work in our embassies and consulates all around the world. The U.S. government remains steadfast in our efforts to lead and advance human rights. The past two years, for example, we have hosted vaccination drives in partnerships with many places of worship around India as part of the effort to vaccinate more than 25 million people. During the pandemic, Indian diaspora NGOs in the United States established food distribution and meal centers in underserved communities throughout my own country. We are grateful to our partners and all of our partners, and we continue to work closely with civil society organizations, including human rights advocates and religious communities, to emphasize our shared traditions of diversity and pluralism. Our goal is to build better understanding between religious and cultural communities 
and an appreciation for the beautiful diversity that exists in both of our nations. We must also remember that human rights are fundamental to peace, prosperity, and security. Of establishing lasting peace. This is our fifth annual peace symposium in Kolkata. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community has been organizing and hosting this peace symposium for the sake of promoting world peace. Perhaps some of you may question the benefit of us organizing this event each year given that the peace of the world both in Muslim countries and elsewhere has not improved at all during this time. Rather, it has deteriorated. Much of the world has been gripped by increasing division, hate and injustice. Society has become polarized. Wars have taken place. Nations have threatened one another and inequality has intensified in both the developing and the developed world. Inconditional experience of all kinds to exploit the possibilities of enhancing their own self-interests with no other principle or, or countering force to which they must be accountable. The right and true principle to which every human being, every, every, every individual and every collective of human individuals must be held accountable and must be identified and systematically established globally. A, a single matchstick can ignite a conflagration. A single individual can act as a pivotal role in igniting a big turmoil in the society. We have experienced a number of incidents where the cause of brutality and mass killing of human beings did occur simply due to sudden sudden flare-ups of people on a totally baseless issues. Sumasto Shanti Pujari De Amar Janai Salam Pranam Ebon Bhalubasha Ebon Sotha Jara Shamni Boshya Chhe Sundarir Pujari Shantir Pujari Shottir Pujari Ami Shabai Ke Janai Amar Antore Bhalubasha Amar Antore Sotha Salam Pranam আমি অগ্নিশিখা আমি আপনাদের সামনে বাংলায় বলবো আমাকে বাংলায় বলতে বলেছেন বিশ্ব শান্তি এই অস্থির পৃথিবীতে আমরা সবাই সুখ খুঁজে বেড়াচ্ছি আমাদের নিষ্পৃত সুখকে সুপার নিউজ টোয়েন্টি ফোর কলকাতা हर कदम सच के साथ